NumPy provides a variety of math functions like sum, mean, min, max, floor, round, exp, log, and countless others. When you understand how to use one of these functions, you'll understand how to use nearly all of them. So in this video, we're going to dive into the sum function, but everything we discuss will be applicable to a bunch of other math functions. Here we have a 2D array called squee. Let's see how we can use the sum function to sum its elements. If we call np.sum squee with no other parameters, we get back 35, the sum of all elements in the array. If we set the axis parameter equal to zero, we can sum across axis zero, in other words, calculating column sums. Alternatively, we can set axis equals one to calculate row sums. In both of these cases, NumPy collapses our 2D array into a 1D array. But if you'd rather retain two dimensions, you can set keep dims equals true. Now let's see what happens if squee contains NAND values. We'll start by setting the top left value of squee to NAND. And let's go ahead and sum all the values in squee. In this case, NumPy returns NAND because the sum function expects all values to be non-NAND. In some cases, your data is going to have NAND values, and you're going to want to sum them as if they were zeros. There's a few ways you can do this. So your first option is to use the WHERE argument to exclude NANDs. So you could do something like np.sum squee comma WHERE equals not np.isNANDSquee. Here, the WHERE argument just needs to be a Boolean array that tells the sum function which values to include in the sum. Your second option is to use the NAND to num function, which takes an array and replaces NAND values with some other specified value, which by default is zero. So in this case, we could do np.sum np.nand to num squee. And then your third option, which is probably my favorite, is to use the NAND sum function, which works just like sum, but it treats NANDs as zeros.